Hello, my name is Jennifer Suffrage and I'm one of the fifth through eighth grade special education teachers at Hyman Elementary in Knott County. Hello, my name is Tiffany Perkins and I'm also one of the fifth through eighth grade special education teachers here at Hyman Elementary in Knott County. Today we want to talk to you about social emotional learning and how we would like to provide students with opportunities for social emotional development in the classroom. We all know that student mental health and education has been a very big deal in recent years, been a very big topic. Um, however, with COVID-19 and you know the isolation that came from the quarantining and being on virtual learning for the past year, um, it's really amplified a lot of issues that either students were already dealing with or that have risen to the surface since the pandemic. This year, we've been lucky to have most of our students back in person but we've noticed that we're dealing with a lot of defiant and non-compliant behaviors. And through discussions with our colleagues and talking with students, we all agreed that students weren't really handling their social emotional lives very well. So we've developed a plan that will hopefully help us uh, provide better supports for our students and to help them deal with their emotions. Like Ms. Suffrage was talking about, we've noticed that our students are having a difficulty. All of our students are having difficulty. And so we are wanting to imp implement a check-in that will happen twice daily on a Google form. The students will complete this in the morning when they get here and again after lunch. And we want them to rate on a scale of one to five how they're feeling. And one being they're fine and five being that they're really having a hard day. And then there's gonna be three other questions that kind of ask them to expand on how they're feeling by asking questions like what's on their mind and what would make their day better. Um, secondly, those students that indicate that they're not feeling okay, we're gonna make sure that there's a staff member, at least one that checks in with them throughout that day. And then those students that are routinely indicating that they're not doing so well, we're gonna place those students in our check-in, check-out system. And a staff member will check in with them in the morning when they get here each class period and again before they leave for the day. And um, we will be able to keep track of that on a Google Sheet. We also want these students to be provided with social emotional learning activities. And we're gonna implement that during our RTI time daily. And those students, the activities that they will, they will be working on will be specific to the issues that they've identified in their Google form and through conversations in their check-in check-out system. Also, we anticipate that our students will have will be learning skills to help with their social emotional well-being. And due to this improvement in being able to cope with their emotions, we expect that here at our school, behavior incidents will decrease. Um, we're going to monitor the behavior incidents first by uh, checking with our administration to see how many behavior referrals they're currently getting. And then we're going to routinely check in with them to see like how much is being turned into the office um, in order to gauge if our plan is successful or not. If it seems like it's not working very well, then we're going to readjust because our students are so important to us and their success is very important to us. So it's really important that we get it right for them.